please be seated. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please be seated. Please be seated. Thank you very much. Can we have some silence, please? Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, members of the National Working Committee, let me first start with an apology for starting this uh, meeting late. I was told it was for 12 o'clock, but here we are starting almost at 12.30, so my apologies, please. Uh, secondly, let me use this very auspicious occasion to congratulate all of you for emerging as leaders of our party. I think this is the first opportunity I am having, you know, to address you as leaders of our party. There is one very, very important and significant thing that I would like to mention as far as this National Working Committee is concerned. First of all, it is the most experienced National Working Committee we have ever elected uh, in this country. This is because, take a look at individually, uh, former Senate President, four times former Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, former university professor and also a founding father or member of this our great party we have never had a chairman you know with all these attributes and in the same national working committee you have the youngest youth leader ever elected since the return of democracy in this country. And in the same National Working Committee, you have the only professor to have been elected also as a member of the National Working Committee. You have several diplomats in the membership of the National Working Committee and senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and former commissioners in their respective states. So you can see a combination of all this makes this National Working Committee particular a unique one and an historic one in the history of this country. No wonder since you assume duties you have steered this party in the right direction. I want to commend you for that. Last time when I declared my interest to run for the president of this country, that was in 2018, I first of all addressed the National Working Committee before any other organ or member of the party. But here we are today, we are almost in the middle, in the sense that I had addressed virtually all groups of delegates in the party, but I am addressing you today. Very many of you in this National Working Committee have interacted with me politically and otherwise for a very, very long time. I don't have to tell you what I am, what qualifications I have, what experience I have, and what I can do for this party, for this country. Of course, when I declared to run for the president of this country, I said I was going to emphasize on five key issues. And these five key issues are germane. I said I was going to uh, make sure that I reunite this country. And that was why I referred myself as the unifier. Uh, 
And secondly, I said I was going to deal decisively with security issues. Because there has to be rule of law, there has to be security before anything else. Mr. Chairman and members of the National Working Committee, about two months ago, I was on a visit to Niger State. And I decided to pay a courtesy call on the governor. And the governor told me, sir, we have about 12 local governments which are under the control of the bandits. We don't know how to conduct elections in those local governments. And I went to the president. I said, Mr. President, we need more policemen. And the president said, how can I give you more policemen? When the inspector general of police and the police service commission are in the court on who will recruit policemen. I cannot be that kind of president. And that is where we are till today. We cannot recruit policemen because the two agencies are in court and we have a president who cannot bring under control his own heads of departments. <clears throat> heads of departments, not even ministers. So I'm not going to be that kind of president. You know that, Mr. Chairman, because you and I have worked we, you and I have worked in the same cabinet. Members of the National Working Committee, you also know I also promised to deal with the economy. Of course, after you have achieved unity and you have achieved peace, the next is to deal with the economy. And you know, Mr. Chairman, and very many of your colleagues here on the National Working Committee know that when we came into office in 1999, we virtually met a similar situation like we have today. Nigeria was indebted. We had no foreign reserves. Our economy was in shambles. Mr. Chairman, and very many of you here who are in that government know that by the time we left, we left Nigeria in the most healthiest economic position. We have done it before, Mr. Chairman. We can do it again. Yes. Of course, I also said in my declaration speech, I was also going to deal with the issue of devolving more powers and resources to the states. Because I believe that is the best way to get Nigeria developed to its fullest capacity by giving autonomy and resources to the various components. There are some of us who grew up in the First Republic when we had regions that were virtually in charge of everything in their respective regions, ranging from security to economy to everything, and we saw how we fared. And we believe this is the best way to make sure that this country is developed to its fullest potentials. Mr. Chairman and members of the National Working Committee, I'm really not here to lecture you. I'm just really here to inform you of my decision to run again and also to urge you to provide the right kind of leadership so that the best candidate can emerge. And um, I dare say, Mr. Chairman, I am the best candidate. And, uh, under, no, under normal circumstances, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, under normal circumstances, this is a guy who has already 11 million votes in his kitty. And I think, and I think as a party, you should give me the right of first refusal. 
But we are in a democracy. All what I can urge you is to make sure that the way you have started, you also conclude the way you have started. By being very fair, very credible, giving every contestant the opportunity to face the electorate. So let me thank you very much indeed for giving me this opportunity. I had come with a prepared speech, but I did not go through it. You can see that I have faced you with the major issues that are confronting this country and our party. And once again, I want to commend you for the excellent leadership you have so far given to this party. By giving this party this excellent relationship means that this country should also expect an excellent leadership from the People's Democratic Party. We all know, every Nigerian knows that the APC has failed. But we should not take Nigerians for granted. We should go all out to let them know APC has failed. It will continue to fail no matter in what gap they have come or they appear to be, they will continue to fail. And PDP has not failed. On a comparative analysis, if you compare the achievements of PDP and the failure of APC, you know that you have no any other choice than PDP. So, Mr. Chairman and distinguished members of the National Working Committee, we thank you very much for giving us this opportunity. We will not want to waste your time. You are at a very, very busy period, you know, of uh, campaigning and also organizing, uh, you know, uh, elections and also other activities of the party. I wish you the very best in your endeavors. God bless you all. Thank you. All members of the National Working Committee here present, members of the entourage of His Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press. On behalf of the National Working Committee, we want to welcome you, Mr. Vice President, to your house, the Wadata House, which you made possible for us to have as a party when you were Vice President. We also want to appreciate you for your contributions in building this party. You are a founding member of the party with us. You know the circumstances under which this party was founded. We fought against dictatorship and we vowed that we we'll work together to build democracy for our country and to ensure that democracy will ne uh, dictatorship will never rise head in this country. Luckily for us, for the last 24 years, the PDP has been the forefront of building democracy for our people. Let me acknowledge the fact that you and I have been close friends, personal friends, for more than 30 years. As it was indicated, we were key players in the Social Democratic Party and key players in the emergence of Chivemkeo Adiola, an election that was free and fair. From there, we've been working politically together. 
So you are a presidential aspirant today, but I want people to know that you are still my friend. I can't deny you. I never deny my friends, including those who are in the other disastrous party. <laughs> and you know them. Because even there we have common friends who miss road, who normally should be here with us. More importantly, since we formed this party, as you have mentioned, we have worked together in various capacities. It is you and I that plotted the emergence of President Tobasanjo. An administration that did very well in putting Nigeria on a healthy map economically, socially, and politically. Again, I can't deny the fact that we work together harmoniously, whether political issues or economic issues, and on the National Security Council when I was Minister for Internal Affairs. I'm saying this to make it clear that those who say, oh, because of my personal relationship with you, as chairman, I will work for you. As a vice president, I will not work for you as an aspirant. I will work for all the 17 aspirants. It is left to you to convince the delegates of our party that you are the best. You have to market yourself, you have to work hard. This National Working Committee, for now, will remain an umpire. We are not going to take sides with any particular candidate, but we love you all. I have said repeatedly, that each one of you, given the opportunity, will run this country better than what APC has done or will be able to do. So in that light, our delegates drawn across the 36 states plus Abuja will ultimately gather, hopefully in Abuja, and select one of you. And the day a candidate emerges, we will all rally around that candidate and make sure we win the presidential election next year. <laughs> it will happen to be the choice of our delegates, all of us sitting here in the National Working Committee, we work very hard to ensure that you win the 2023 elections, and when you win, it will not be taken away again as it was done in 2019. Let me take this time to explain to Nigerians that the party has its own internal mechanisms of selecting a candidate, whether by consensus or by election. We do it transparently. Those who love our party more than us should please tarry a little. They should not select candidates for the People's Democratic Party. They don't have our mandate and we will not concede that mandate to anybody, young or an elder, who chooses by himself to choose candidate for us. Our internal processes will go ahead and we are going ahead with it. At the end of the day, we'll come out with a candidate 
chosen by the members of the People's Democratic Party themselves. It is that candidate that we will present to the rest of Nigeria for the forthcoming elections. We appreciate the enthusiasm of those who support our party from the outside. They should continue to do so, but they, have, they don't have our mandate to determine who will be our presidential candidate. And on that note, I want all 17 of you to continue to canvass for votes across the breadth of this country. I also want to plead with you not to attack each other. You must remain as members of one family. You must continue to hold meetings and visit each other and call each other on the phone. You must continue to relate, to try and create the necessary synergy. Because whoever emerges as a candidate, we need the others to win the presidential election. No single person can on his or her own go around Nigeria and canvass for votes and win an election. We all need each other. We need every single presidential aspirant, governorship, members of NWC, every member of the PDP family. And I want to assure you that this internal process as a national working committee we will try to follow the tradition of the People's Democratic Party since 1999. PDP has never had a controversial convention. We always have a transparent convention. From the one that president, uh, produced President Obasanjo in Joss in 1999 to the last one that produced you in Port Harcourt. We want to improve, we want as a working committee to improve on that record. We want to make sure that the world respects the candidate, the process, and the candidate we produce. And all those who lose out, we appreciate that the last election free and fairly. And with that in mind, they will be willing to campaign for the winning candidate. I want to thank you and your entourage for coming before us today. for giving such a wonderful speech that touches on the key things confronting this country. Unity, security, the economy, and devolution of powers. I think that all these issues you have mentioned are the next next meeting we intend to set up the manifesto committee which will try to articulate which will try to articulate the position of the party on everything including our foreign policy position we must be seen to be different to the other party that has no position on anything and does not agree on anything. And this president cannot even control his or agencies and his ministers. We want a decisive president that will rescue Nigeria. PDP is back. And PDP is determined to win with a quality candidate. We thank you and may God bless you all.